In today's video, you'll see my special guest, my fan, my Totoro fan. Because it's hot. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be talking about the best sweatproof summer foundations for combination skin. I have three foundations here to talk about. Two are drugstore and one is a bit more higher end, so you've got some great affordable options here. They have varying shade ranges, but there are, I know, one drugstore option that does have a wider shade range, so I'm hoping that there's going to be something here for everyone who's looking for something that's going to last through a summer day especially if you're commuting, especially if you're going to school, you're going to work, you want something that's going to stay put all day and not just something that's going to stay put on a beauty guru's face when she's sitting in her house editing all day, you know? So these are all tried and tested. I have a long commute. I walk to a train station. I take three trains. I walk to my office. I work all day and then I do all that in reverse. So these are all tested and these are the best ones that I've found. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start with the more affordable options first. So the first one that I have is from CoverGirl and this is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I love this. This is honestly one of the best foundations overall that I've tried. This works particularly well in the summer. It is sweat proof. It is a good medium coverage that you can build up a little bit and I'll give you a little tip of what I do to add a little bit more coverage to this in just a little bit. But this has broad spectrum SPF 20. It's supposed to have some other vitamins and minerals to really help out your skin but this is just comfortable. It's comfortable, it's good coverage, and it does not budge. It doesn't. And now I said this was medium coverage. If you want full coverage, one of the first videos I ever did on my channel was about mixing this foundation with Dermacol and how that was my go-to summer foundation combination because back then my skin was not doing great. I had a lot of breakouts and at that, back at that time that acne it wasn't fully covered by just this and if I built it up too much you could tell like there was a lot of foundation like right here so I tried these two together I mixed like two pumps of this to like a squeeze or a dab of this you mix that together you have a full coverage foundation that'll last you all day that video is horrible quality and I'm working on redoing it at some point <laughs> but if you're interested I'll throw that video up in the cards for you to check out but it still holds true this is one of the best foundation cocktails ever and it lasts a good full day and I used to wear this back when I was actually doing more manual like work at work so I would still walk to work in the sun and the heat and the sweat and I would get to work and I would run around all day I would move boxes I would stock shelves and then I would walk back home and I still looked good I don't know what I'm doing. Am I just doing a magic spell? <laughs> but this was really good. And I think this is one of the highest recommendations I can give. If you're looking for super full coverage, mix them. If you're okay with medium coverage, use just this. I used just this the other day and I took a picture of my face at the end of a long day. And it looked, it looked pretty good. It looked still on my face. <laughs> and that was when it was like one of the hottest days and I was wearing a, a dark dress and I had to walk to and from the train station in like 85 degree heat. Three trains, worked a full day. Recently I've been grateful that my skin has been behaving so I've been okay with the amount of coverage that the CoverGirl is giving me on its own but I do know if you do need that more coverage that just a little bit of extra the Dermacol mixing in is still an awesome trick but I haven't been using it as often because thankfully my skin has been behaving itself. Watch me jinx it. The second affordable option I have is from Maybelline and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I recently picked up a new shade that I am wearing today. I did have to lighten it though. This is shade 118. I picked this out after going to Target and actually swatching shades. So thankfully my local Target actually had every shade available as a tester that you could swatch and actually figure out. So I swatched a couple of different shades on my hand and watched them dry and I picked one. Uh, unfortunately that middle shade is shade 110. Way too light for me. Even though I'm this pale, it, it was a bit too light. 
Uh, shade 118 was the closest to my undertone because every other shade before 110 had like an orange or a pink undertone and it didn't look good. So 118 is my closest and I do have to lighten it up just a little bit. So I do lighten it up with the LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation. I love this. It's affordable. It doesn't affect the actual... Oh, what I'm trying to say. It doesn't affect the actual formula of whatever you mix it in with, so I would highly recommend keeping this on hand. Whenever you're going for a drugstore foundation, make sure it has your undertone and go for something you know might be darker because that way you can fix it. It's a bit easier to lighten a foundation that has your undertone than it is to darken a foundation that may or may not have your undertone. So that's just kind of my tip if you're going in a drugstore and you really can't swatch or really look at anything. Go a little bit darker, but make sure it has your undertone. That being said, I've panned an entire bottle of this in a different shade. And even though it was the wrong shade, I put in the extra effort to make it a shade that worked for me. Because this was such a good foundation. I'm wearing this today. So today's wear test will be with this, just lightened up a little bit. This is a good medium coverage. I did build it up a little bit down here and a little bit on my cheeks. It has the most beautiful finish. This... I was shocked. I wore this without mixing it with anything yesterday, just around the house, and the finish just, it looks like skin. It's its gorgeous. I love the finish on this. So this is great. It does last a full day as well. So today I'm hoping that I can show you like a full wear test. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. I'll be leaving for work soon. So I'm going to bring my camera and hopefully get like some midday shots and end of the day shots. So you can really see how this does hold up. But this is great. It's got a really wide shade range, which I do appreciate. Like, if you can get into a store and actually swatch the shades, I think that's the best. Because there are so many shades, and I do really appreciate that. Um, this is a medium coverage foundation. If you need a little bit more coverage, I'd recommend going with the CoverGirl. Because I tried mixing this with the Dermacol, and it doesn't work as well as the CoverGirl. I'm not sure why. It just behaved a lot better with the CoverGirl than with this Maybelline one. But this is still a great foundation. I wear it all the time. I just repurchased this a couple of days ago because I had finished up my other bottle of the 122. I don't think I mentioned this before, but the CoverGirl Vitalist I always get at CVS and they have coupons and you can always get them. Someone mentioned on Twitter that they thought this was discontinued, but they actually just repackaged this. So this is like the new packaging. They used to have different packaging. So it is still available because I did buy that one within the last month and a half. I did finish my last one. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about my higher end product, which if you've been with my channel for any length of time, you probably have heard me talk about this. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And this was one of the first great matte foundations that I fell in love with. I think the first one I ever found was the CoverGirl, and then after this, I decided to go and test out this one, and this is incredible. I panned an entire one of these last summer, it's just exactly what it says it is. It is. It's a comfort matte foundation. It is a good medium coverage that I can build up if needed. It just feels so nice and comfortable on my skin. The finish is gorgeous. It's a little bit more matte than the other foundations, but not in a way that makes you look like dry or old. It's oh, I love this. I love the packaging on this. It's a squeezy tube with a pump. Uh, ah, this is Probably, if I had to name a Holy Grail foundation, I'd probably name two, like one for summer and one for winter. This is the, the winter. This is the summer one. Ah, I love this foundation. This is something I cannot go a whole summer without, quite honestly. Uh, I finished my last one up at the end of last summer, so as it was getting hotter now, I went out and I bought this to make sure I had it. I've used this a couple of times already, and I love it. I love it. It is a little bit pricier than the other options, of course, but that's why you've got some different options. I don't think you need to buy this if you don't want to spend the money because the Maybelline and the CoverGirl will work just as well. I just like this. <laughs> I just like it a lot. And this one in the shade Shortbread, I do still have to lighten a little bit. So again, I will be jumping back in with that LA Girl White Foundation just to help my pale self out. I need to go outside. So those are all of my foundation recommendations, specifically for combination skin in the summer. They have worked for me, they have worked really well, and just to prove it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in any footage I can take during the day as I'm wearing this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless.
So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video. You give it a thumbs up. I know this was requested a lot, so I really hope these recommendations help you out now that we're getting into like the unbearable levels of hotness in the summer. Thank you guys again for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.